Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, Gator Riverboat here, back with my third video. If you haven't seen the first two, you know, go ahead and check these out. Check those out after you watch this one. Um, more gaming news for you. Also, movie news. Um, Mortal Kombat fans, there's a new Mortal Kombat movie in production. Uh, it starts production sometime this year. I just recently found out about this yesterday, so I know I'm kind of late with it. Um, it's set to start filming in Australia, and it's going to be probably the biggest film production in Australia's history that they that they ever done. Um, I'm very excited about this. You know, I read, I heard about it. I read a little bit about it, and I also discovered. That there's also a couple of other games that's being turned into movies. Also, uh, Resident Evil is getting a reboot. I mean, I, I like the Resident Evil franchise. The games are great. The movies were kind of movies were good, but mm. uh, also surprisingly, Saints Row. Saints Row <laughs> is a uh, Getting their little turn in Hollywood. It's great. They, you know, it's it seems like there's a surgence in video games being turned into movies now. In my previous videos, I talked about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, more so talked about how I felt about Sonic, how you know he looked, but uh I talked about the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. Um and now here are three more games. That's, you know, getting the Hollywood makeover. Big budget. Like these are, these won't be, you know, straight to DVD or select theater kind of deals. These are going to be major motion pictures. F. Gary Gray, the man behind um, Straight Outta Compton. He's going to be behind the Saints Row movie. Now, of course, straight out of Compton, you know, that's based on a true story. It's serious. And Saints Row is kind of the opposite. You know, it's more like, you know, comedy, a little bit of fantasy, you know, stuff like that. But the plot hasn't been revealed for uh, Saints Row yet. Neither the plot for um, Mortal Kombat or uh, Resident Evil hasn't been revealed yet. But I just think this is exciting news. Like, you know, these games that we play, that we love is is you know being brought to the, the big screen i mean this isn't the first time of course like i mentioned a moment ago we've seen uh many resident evil movies sequels and things like that uh we got a a few mortal kombat movies first one was great annihilation didn't like so much and um they had this uh other mortal kombat project it was like a mini series and I watched most of it. I didn't see all of it. And don't forget, there was also a Mortal Kombat TV show, too. A lot of people have forgotten about that. There was a Mortal Kombat TV show. I want to say it aired in the late 90s. Was it on the TNT Network? A lot of people have forgotten about that. I think the lead character was Kung Lao. But yeah, that was like 20 years ago. But anyway, I, I just love the fact that you know, I don't know. I mean, why do you think this is happening? Of course, money, you know, you, people are seeing all this money, all this, all this money that these games are, are, are getting from fans and, you know, just consumers in general. And, you know, Hollywood can get in on that, too. We play a lot of games nowadays. The The cinematic aspect of it is so great you, you're playing is like you know what this will make a, a decent movie so this should be no surprise and like i said this isn't the first time um you know these video games have been turned into you know major motion pictures and things like that the track record for stuff like this isn't all that great um you know i always you know i gotta be one of those people that gotta go back and Say, you know, hey, Super Mario Brothers, the movie was horrible. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I found some enjoyment out of it. Maybe just because I love Mario Brothers so much. And, you know, I grew up with it and stuff like that. 
um, some decent uh, video game movies. Prince of Persia, that was a decent movie. Um, I thought Assassin's Creed was decent. So they're not all total fails across the board. You know, some of these movies have been successful. So, uh, yeah, don't be so quick to, uh, you know, roll your eyes when you hear the news about, you know, these upcoming movies that I'm mentioning here. Um, I'm sure Mortal Kombat, they're going to do it right. Especially if, you know, Ed Boon is, is, you know, has his hand in it, which I'm sure he will. Um, because you play the, the recent Mortal Kombat games, like I'm currently playing Mortal Kombat 11. I love the story in that. I love the story in the, the previous one, the, the Mortal Kombat X. I thought that story was good too. Um, so yeah, these I expect the Mortal Kombat film to be pretty good. I, I you know I expect great things from that. Um, let's see, Resident Evil. In my opinion, it needed a reboot. It really did. Love Mila Jovovich as the the lead character. She did a, a, a freaking knockout job. Um, but you know, it, it, it's it's time it's time for Resident Evil to get a reboot. Saints Row, I mean that was kind of a shock to me. I knew that I like the Saints Row games, but I never expected them to say, someone to say, you know what, let's make a Saints Row movie. I never expected that. That, that this is a surprise to me. Um, like I said, as far as the plot, and it's all unknown. I I expect the Saints Row movie to be over the top, just like you know. Just like the games are. The first Saints Row game was um, a little more on the serious side. It was, uh, how can I say, I guess it was supposed to take on Grand Theft Auto. But of course it, it couldn't you know, knock down a juggernaut of GTA. It couldn't do it. But the game has generated a, a good fan base. I'm a fan of it also. Uh it recently, I think uh, Saints Row the Third recently got ported over to the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, I know the game is a little old now, but the game still has life to it. People are, you know, people are still willing to play it. I considered buying it, but you know, I think I already have it in my collection, so I'm not going to buy it again. But yeah, I, I like Saints Row. I like the Saints Row um, franchise. It did get a little weird. But, but you know, after the after the second game, you know, it, it just it just got like almost reality, you know, over the top comedy, fantasy to absurdity. It, it was just it just kept on like getting more and more ridiculous. But you know, I, I'm pretty sure it'd be a fun movie. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. If you didn't know, video games being turned into movies, man. Why do you think it is? You think Hollywood is running out of ideas? I mean that could be a factor, but I you know I think Hollywood is seeing all this money that's being generated from these games, and it's like you know what we can we can get in on this. We need to get on this. We should get in on this. But yeah, man, just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching. I try my best to keep you informed. I am a very busy man, but um, yeah, I'm excited. And like I said, if you haven't seen my previous video um, talking about the upcoming Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog movie be, uh, being released this November, check it out if you haven't. You know, give me a like. You know what to do. Hit that sub button. <laughs> Thanks for your time, y'all. Have a blessed day. Later.